Welcome back to the workshop. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you a tour of all the rusty areas and repairs that I've done on my Classic Mini projects. Paddington, my Classic Mini is a great example of a traditional 1999 Mini Cooper, rusty. Even for a 1999 model, this car is impressive with the amount of rust it's got going on. I've had to repair rust in the seals, on the floor, under the archways, along with the trim. There's been rust in the boot, under the doors, on the roof. So I'm pretty sure you get the picture. Even for a 1999 model, this is still really rusty. So now that you've seen the before and afters of the rust repair, you can see that we're nearly there. The only thing that's left for me to do is fit this outer seal back on. And I can see that already by testing out the fitment that there is a little bit of material that I need to remove in this top corner. I think it's just some under seal um, before I fit that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that I have cleared this up, settled away this corner, I am gonna try and see how it fits. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go and try and clamp that and then just kind of mark around where it's gonna sit. Okay. Oh, this is so exciting. So now I've offered the outer seal up to the mini and checked the fitment of it. I know it's all good, so I'm going to go ahead and start drilling the holes for the spot welds. Um, I don't actually have a spot welder, so I'm just going to use my MIG welder. Um, and each of these spot welds want to be about an inch apart from one another. For areas such as this inner seal, I sprayed on some U-Pole Weld Through Primer, which is particularly good for areas that you're going to be covering up and will no longer be able to get to to protect the metal from rusting. But it's also good for areas, obviously, that you're going to be then welding onto. Um, so that came highly recommended by many, many enthusiasts on a Facebook page. Um, and then this one was actually recommended by the painter that's going to help me paint my mini and it's Dinatrol RC900 Rust Converter. He said it's especially good because it acts as a good base for the paintwork. So now that I have drilled all the holes for my spot welds, I've prepped the metal and I've also sprayed the areas I will no longer be able to get to with primer, I'm going to begin welding. I think we're doing all right. Yes. So this is how the outer seal turned out on the right hand side. And after I completed that, I then moved on to do the left hand side. And the reason why I did the two separately is because I always had a point of reference. Um, so this was exactly the same process from start to finish. I removed the outer seal cutting it away with an angle grinder and then located the rusty areas on the inner sill, cut them away, replaced it with fresh metal and finally welded it back together. So now all the rust repair has been completed, I am so relieved and anyone who has done rust repair before will understand when I say I am glad it's finished. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here in the workshop for another episode.